Liverpool will need to remove one player from their squad following the transfer of Ryan Gravenberch. Ryan Gravenberch's arrival at Liverpool on transfer deadline day has posed a potential dilemma for the Reds. The Dutchman, who joined from Bayern Munich in a deal worth up to £40 million, is part of Jurgen Klopp's £150 million midfield overhaul, alongside players like Alexis Mack Allister, Dominic Essobosli, and Wataru Endo. While Liverpool's pursuit of Gravenberch finally paid off, it now raises the issue of squad selection for this season's Europa League group stage. Liverpool was drawn into a group with Lask from Austria, Royal Union St. Gilwas from Belgium, and Toulouse from France. The deadline to submit the squad to UEFA for group stage action is September 4. Europa League squad rules are similar to the Champions League, allowing a maximum 25-man squad consisting of Liste players. Out of these, eight spots are designated for locally trained players, with no more than four of them being association trained players. Considering the departures of key players like Jordan Henderson, James Milner, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, as well as loan moves for Nat Phillips and Sepp van den Berg, Liverpool currently lacks association-trained players. However, they do have six club-trained players, which allows them to name a maximum 23-man squad if all are selected, even though Glatzel and Jaros haven't played for the first team. Apart from locally trained players, clubs can have up to 17 overseas players on list A in their 25-man squad. Liverpool currently has 16 overseas players over the age of 21. However, neither Gravenberch nor Bendo qualify for list B as they haven't met the required two-year uninterrupted period at the club since turning 15. In the Champions League, selecting Gravenberch would be straightforward, but the Europa League offers an opportunity for players like Ben Doak, a 17-year-old winger who has impressed during pre-season. Klopp is expected to rotate the squad in the Europa League, and there is no equivalent to the UEFA Youth League for young players to participate in. So, while some younger players can be named on list B, Doak may miss out if he's the player removed from the senior 25-man squad to accommodate Gravenberch's arrival. Nevertheless, there is a UEFA regulation that might allow Klopp to include both players in his 25-man Europa League squad while potentially excluding one of their senior teammates. According to UEFA rules, clubs must have a minimum of two goalkeepers on list A and at least three in total. Liverpool currently has four goalkeepers available for registration on list A, Alisson, Adrian, Callagher, and Jaros, in addition to players like Marcelo Pitaluga on list B both Callagher and Jaros contribute to Liverpool's quota of locally trained players. While Callagher is almost certain to be selected and could even start ahead of Alisson in the Europa League group stages if Klopp rotates his squad, if Jaros is not chosen, Liverpool's squad would be reduced to 22 players. As a solution, Klopp could potentially exclude Adrian from his Europa League squad and utilise Jaros as the third-choice goalkeeper. Alternatively, he could leave both players out and call upon Peter Luger from List B as a backup. In the latter scenario, Liverpool would be safeguarded in case they lose the services of either Alisson or Callagher. UEFA rules state that if a club cannot rely on at least two goalkeepers registered on list A due to long-term injury or illness, the club can temporarily replace them at any point during the season. Ultimately, fans would likely support such a low-risk decision if it ensured that all senior overseas outfield players, including Gravenberch, are included in the red squad, and if it allows Doak to still have playing time in this season's Europa League. However, whether Klopp chooses to make such a decision at the expense of a backup goalkeeper remains uncertain.